Da Vinci. No, not that one. This one. When first downloading it, you feel like a caveman stranded in a city. Huh? But after 1000 days, I'd consider myself pretty much a pro. And instead of three years, it will only take you five minutes to learn what I've learned over these years and avoid beginner mistakes. That is, if you watch the video until the end. My name is Lenny and I actually shoot and edit videos for a living, so everything I'm telling you here I actually apply to real client work. And we are gonna start off with lesson number one, you import your amazing looking footage, but when you play it back, it actually only gets you a couple of frames and your playback sucks. But there is a simple fix. You go up to your drop down menu to playback and then go to timeline playback resolution. And here, as you can see, you can select full, half or quarter. And what it's gonna do here is only gonna display you a quarter of the resolution of your video. And if we play back the clip now, as you can see, everything works just fine and we get our regular frames. If you export video at the end, this will not affect this at all. This is just when you view your image in the timeline. Lesson number two, multiple timelines. This is something that really transformed my workflow when I first discovered it. And I don't think a lot of people know that, but if you click here and then display stacked timelines, you can then create multiple timelines and switch between them. And the way I use it is I sort and grade all of my footage and then I just copy and paste it into the final timeline. This just makes your workflow a little bit more professional and you don't have to edit everything in a single timeline. I think that's a pretty neat feature. Tip number three, fake slow motion. If you ever had a clip that you wanted to use slow motion on, but you recorded in 24 or 30 P and if you right click on your clip and select change clip speed and let's do maybe 30%, your slow motion isn't going to look very good. But if we go over here to retime and scaling and we select optical flow and speed warp better, and if we play it back again, we should now have really good looking slow mo, even if we didn't record in slow motion. Let's talk about some general editing advice that really sped up my workflow and something that I'm still guilty of doing, not gonna lie, but if you can master this, this will save you hours and hours. So we've all done it before. We edit something and then rewatch the whole video from the beginning, do another edit, watch it again from the beginning to see how it all comes together. And if you think about it, if you watch a two minute clip 30 times, that's an hour wasted on just watching your own video instead of editing it. And my advice here is to edit and finish a whole section and then rewatch it, which will greatly reduce the amount of times that you will rewatch the whole thing, saving you a lot of time. Trust me, I'm a perfectionist too. But when I started applying the 80-20 rule to my editing process, I'm getting so much more done. And what do I mean by the 80-20 rule? Well, I think after spending 80% of your time on a video, you're like 98, 99% done. And we spend the remaining 20% on that 1% that's missing. And let's be honest, other than us who are creating a video, no one is even gonna notice these changes. And you can really just say, hey man, this is really good enough. I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna continue. You're gonna notice that you're just gonna get so much faster. And that does not mean that you should do sloppy work, just more smart work. But now back to more editing tips. In DaVinci, you can basically copy and paste anything. Let's say I really like the grade that I've done in this clip here, or maybe I've done some adjustments that I wanna copy paste. You press Command C, go to the clip that you wanna paste it to and press Alt V. And now you get this selection where you can select color grade or anything that you wanna copy. And if you press apply, you can see Everything from that clip has been copied. And the last pretty huge time saver, if you have a grade that you really like or that you know you're gonna apply to multiple clips, you can right click that image and press grab still. And as you can see, it will appear up here. And now if we go to another clip and we select this preset onto that clip, it applies the whole color grade and the good thing about this is if you have another project, you can still go back to this preset. It will still be here and you can then drag and drop it. Let me show you all the presets I have made here for YouTube. For example, I have no tree. I have one for the drone, one for, one for the Blackmagic Pixis, one for the Sony, one for OBS even, for the Ronin. So I have all these presets and whenever I insert a clip off of these cameras, I can just go in here and select the presets I've already done before and grade my entire footage in seconds. It's basically a little bit like your own LUTs. And of course, there is way more to cover. If you have anything specific that you would like to know, write it down in the comments and I'll make sure to take a look and make a video about it if it is interesting. And to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.